In this part of React Redux shopping cart, we're gonna add Redux to the project. First of all, we need to know what the Redux is. Redux is a tool for managing both data state and UI state in JavaScript application. Redux separates the application data and business logic into a container in order to let React manage just the view. Rather than a traditional library or a framework, it's an application data follow architecture. It's most compatible with single page application where the management of the state over time can get complex. Here you see the architecture of Redux. We have some components like UI, Action, Store, which comprises of state and reducer, and there is a data follow between them. Actions are plain JavaScript objects which are the main source of information used to send data from the application to the store. Any change into the states come from action. Reducers. Reducers are function or pure function that take the current state of application and an action and then return a new state. Store. Store is a JavaScript object which can hold the application state and provide a few helper methods to access the state and dispatch action and register listeners. And the last part of Redux comes to React, which is the UI part. As a UI, you can notify from changing the state from the Redux and you can dispatch an action to change the state of Redux. Now that we know how Redux works, it's time to install Redux and add Redux to our React project. With these three packages, we can add Redux to our React project. The packages are installed and it's time to start adding Redux to the project. First of all, we need to wrap the whole application in the provider. Provider is a component from React Redux which gives the state to the all component inside that. Here we wrap the whole app component inside provider and provider accept attribute which is a store which will be create it in a second. Let's import provider from React Redux. This code will not run because a store is not defined. src folder, right click and create new file, store.js. Inside that, we want to use the create store method of Redux. Let's import create store from Redux. Create store is a function that create our Redux store. It takes some parameters. The first one is reducers. We want to define a root reducer in seconds. It's the initial value for state. And the last one is enhancer, which we will use func as an enhancer. Let's define initial state which is the empty object and we need to define root reducer too but before that let's import store here port store from store and make store export default export default create store and you have access the create store from app.js and the error chains uh, because it mentioned that root reducer is not defined before defining reducer we need to create a folder named action inside the src inside action we need to define action type 
let's create a file types.js and inside it we just export some constants like fetch products it's an action and we set this constant to same string fetch products also we have some other actions like add to cart like add to cart or remove from cart now it's time to create the action for products product actions the first action in the product action is fetching product let's create this action export const fetch products it's a function that take another function with dispatch method and it returns an actions and actions comprises of a type which is fetch product and payload which is data comes from ajax request so let's copy the fetch method inside component will mount in the app and put it inside fetch products action and move the return to the result of fetch request and the payload will be the data which is product list and we don't know the set state anymore because the state will be set at the redux not at the component level now that we defined our fetch action it's time to create our reducers the first reducer we want to define is product reducer let's define the product reducer first of all create a folder reducers and inside reducers create product reducer.js reducer evaluate current state and an action and return the new state so let's export default function reducer function accept state which will be set to initial state if there is no state and an action and here let's define the initial state product reducer states are items it's the items of products which will be empty array by default and here we need to evaluate the action with switch case if it's fetch product return default value of state and change the items to action dot pay load and the default will return current state when the fetch products reducers come in the picture we return default value of state plus replace items with action.payload so when product.action dispatch this action the payload will be filled by list of product from this API and the state in the reducer will get these products and set them into items now that we defined our product reducer it's time to define the root reducer right click on reducer click create new file with index.js and inside index.js we use export default combine reducers which comes from redux and here we have name value object the first one is products 
and the corresponding reducer is product reducers that auto imported from dot slash product reducer so we can have access to the product from store by state dot products let's go back to store.js and here we need to import root reducer from go to reducer and it automatically select index.js in the reducer folder now that we did all the boilerplate for redux it's time to add redux to the react component the first component we're gonna do is products we want to show the list of products by the products that comes from redux store to do that first of all we need to move export default from class at the end of the products component and here we use connect it connects our component to the redux store it comes from react dash redux connect method need two set of parentheses the last one will be filled by the component name and the first one accept two parameter the first one is map state to props let's define map state to props it takes state of redux and return an object which is a name value let's map the state dot products dot items to products so i put products that comes from state of redux products items and put them inside parentheses and add map state to props as a first argument of connect and the second one is the action the action we're gonna use is fetch products let's import fetch product action let's go back one folder back inside action product actions great the last step is to call the fetch product action in the lifecycle method of products component will mount component will mount and inside this method we need to call this dot props dot fetch products you see the result which shows list of products here that's it it's all about adding redux to the react project in the next part we will be adding add to cart action with redux action